the ground. And it was the poor Osos. <laughs> the, the poor bottle. Uh, Sam Morrell, you guys know Sam Morrell. We've seen him from Freaky Friday, COVID stories here with his girlfriend, of Taylor Tomlinson. We hate Sam Morrell on this show. You can't go lower than Sam Morrell. Uh, Red Bar despises Sam. Sam is not one of the people who has come out of the closet to say Red Bar is great. Red Bar is a beast. We've had Dan Soder, Big J, all his friends have come out and they go, Red Bar is funny. Ari Shafir, you know, who we torment on this show. Every time you talk to Ari about Red Bar, he's funny. He has the right to exist. But he also thinks Israel has a right to exist. Oh, my God. We got that whole thing, too. Right? Oh, God. Am I sick? We got to shorten this up here. Okay, we'll just do this one. We can skip Sam that Morrell uh, not pulling off his morning show stunt. So he's trying to do this thing where he uh, trolls the newscasters. So when he's got a gig coming up in Poughkeepsie, he goes to Channel 2 Poughkeepsie. Uh, NBC, and he gives the anchors a hard time. Now, this is a, a bit that's I think been this done. It's a little old. It's a little old. We uh, comics have been doing this since the beginning of uh, these phoners, these interviews for their for their dates. And Sam Morrell is not the type of guy who should be doing this. He's just not. We've got a video. Is this whole thing arable? It's only three yeah, minutes. Three long. minutes. Here's Sam on happening tonight. Is this a Fox company? Fox 13, wait till you see the despicable nature of him. You know, you start rooting for the cringy newscasters at this point. You're on the newscaster side. Usually we love when a comic harasses the news. In this case, he's not the guy for the job. It's uncalled for. And you're just being rude to these casters. You should be grateful that they're having you on. You're not the guy to do this bit. May I present to you? Sam Morrell being nasty to a news team that we're rooting for now. (laughs) All right, happening tonight, comedian Sam Morrell is bringing his class act tour to Salt Lake City. He happens to be right here joining us. And and let me get, you're not a class act, you're crazy. You're the most straight-laced little fucking Jewish faggot I've ever met. Sorry. You're going big spit on him. (laughs) You are not this guy. You're not this wild guy. There's nobody more safe. What's that? I said, look right into the camera like big spit. There's nobody more safe than you, Sam. But see, I can't even be that that's nasty. Great. I can never be that nasty. <laughs> see, that's how dark. That's how dark it was. When I look at the is. camera, I want to smile. When Big Spitty wants to kill me, I uh, here go back to morale. You're not this. What was the name of his tour? What did he say it was? Class Act Tour. You are a class act. I mean, no, you're not, but you're a loser. You're not not a class act. You're not cool. You're not me. All right, happening tonight, comedian Sam Morrell is bringing his class act tour to Salt Lake City. (laughs) He happens to be right here joining us this morning to talk about the tour and a few other projects he has coming up. We're happy to have She's going to try to disparage. Uh, in, in Utah. Oh, good. Well, because we hear that you love uh, morning shows. I do. Yeah. And basketball. <laughs> My two favorite things. Your two favorite things. <laughs> last, last, time one here, right I, uh, last time I was here, I hooked up with a mother of six. And uh, that's the lowest so number. He's already going blue. This is a morning show. He knows the rules. Why not respect its audience? You know, what's so cool about going to somebody else's house and trashing it? So he's going over there, and the minute it comes out of his mouth, and he's not pulling it off. He doesn't really say it with his And it's like chest. he just wants to do this because so Mark. Chip, just, yeah, he just he's wants not, to do this because Mark Because Mark does Norman it, does it. Tom and Tom did Segura it. did this many years ago. This is almost an outdated thing to do. The and news. this isn't you. You're like the guy who's nice to You're everybody. You're a nice guy. <laughs> so the first thing out of his mouth is, yeah, I hooked up with this mother. It's like. That's not you. Watch what he puts them through. It's pretty nasty. I do. Yeah. And basketball. <laughs> My two favorite things. Your two favorite things. <laughs> last, last, time one here, right I, uh, last time I was here, I hooked up with a mother of six. And, uh, and, and look at their face. They don't want this on their morning show for mothers of sixes. Last time I was here, I hooked up with this. Well, that's disgusting. She and must have been awful. A mother of six? A mother of one nauseates me. <laughs> Which is the name of my new album, Mother of One. And it's uh, a Green Day-inspired album. It's called Mother of One. It's uh, the sequel to Father of None. Is that Green Day? 
Father of nine. Father of all. Father of all. Motherfucker. Mother of six. <laughs> I'm mother against a mother six. of one. Any woman, even Kylie Jenner, with the biggest breasts online. I don't know why she doesn't get all the uh, Sydney Sweeney thing. Her boobs are huge. Uh, but Kylie Jenner's had a baby, and it did it come out vaginally? I don't know. But either way, a baby living inside of a woman makes the woman's body disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it just does. If it's not your son, you're basically fucking the soul of a boy, of another man's his. I call it his. H-I-Z-Z. His. And uh, so you fucked a mother of six? That's six guys. You had a menage a trois. Even worse, he didn't and is just making a dumb Yeah, Mormon and you didn't, you're didn't. you not fucking anybody. You're fucking times. Taylor Tomlinson, who might have had six kids pregnant in her brain. <laughs> With the size of her noggin. And it's like they've heard the Mormon six kids. Oh, is that what we're doing? Salt Lake City. Oh, so it's a gag. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, I can't follow that type of stuff. (laughs) And it's 51 degrees. 9.14 Nine fourteen a.m. It's like if you, I don't think if this is so shitty for you, you hate morning shows are so awful. Then just don't go. This gets bloody worse. You obviously need. <sighs> oh, ah, ah, ah! Oh my fucking god! Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Let's see. Let's see. I think you might be a little the, bit. Oh, uh, ow! Fuck! This is killing me. This is itching like crazy. So uh, I got this, Ethan. Stupid. F- ah! <sighs> I'm in so much pain. Stupid idea. I got this Ethan Klein tribute uh, tattoo. This dog died shredder. And this thing is, I- I'm telling you, I can feel it going through my system right now. And this is not okay. We might literally have to go to the ER after this. You should use uh, some oh, of the porosos to clean oh, it Ah, this fucking kills. Never get this type of tattoo. <laughs> All right, let, uh, this gets way worse. Sam Morrell on this uh, morning show. Wait till you see this crap. It's the lowest number I could find in Salt Lake. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you hear what he I just fucked a mother of six. It's the lowest number I could find of people. It's like... You're not pulling this off. You planned this, and you're just insulting these poor people. They don't want to hear this crap. And uh, that's the lowest number I could find in Salt Lake. That's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, you just got a rim shot out of our yeah. audio guy. I got one. Yeah, you got that's one. That's one. Okay. Yeah. Not <laughs> funny. It's not funny enough either. It just comes off as disrespect, and that's coming from the king of D. Disrespect, Doctor Disrespecto, me. If I'm saying you're being a little crass, you're being a little nasty, well, you better tighten it up. Watch this. Counting. Yeah. So so tell us a little bit. It's, it's a class. It's called the Class Act Tour. Is that ironic? Yes. No, okay. it's a very low class show. I mean, it's uh, anything topical I'm excited to talk about, like, like the P. Diddy stuff I want to talk about. Oh. You know, the sexual harassment. <laughs> See how he's not pulling this off? It's like you want to be crass and make it uncomfortable, but you're doing such a bad... Just because you said you were going to do that in your head, now you're going, I kind of want to talk about the P. Diddy and stuff. And they know, they could smell it on you that you're not confident enough to do this later. She's like, she's got the ick. You gave gave a Stanley Cup cringe mother of six the ick. You gave this, this guy's like, this is douche chills. (laughs) Like, you're making the newscasters nice and normal and cool compared to you. And look how he's sitting. Look at this little fucking guy. We got to go head to head. I'm ready. Sam Morrell, let's go. It's time to talk. Meaning you talk about us. uh, Talk about us. Yes, exactly. Not face to face. (laughs) Hell no. I don't even know the guy. He has has he ever said anything about no, this red bar? I don't think it's so. time. We need an answer. Everybody <laughs> bother him till we get an answer. I need his opinion on this red bar. Uh, anything topical I'm excited to talk about. Like like the P. Diddy stuff I want to talk about. Oh. You know, the sexual harassment. 
Because so, I feel like in rap, it used to be like about who's the toughest. Watch this like, bomb. I'm, in the 90s, they're like, I'm going to kill you. And now like, they're like, I'll, t- I'll tell people you had sex with me. <laughs> that's a new that's a new way to bring a guy down yeah. Yeah, right. okay so we, we should probably not go too far down that particular oh, topic right. line right here can you just show them some respect they're plugging your shows I know, that you need helping you sell tickets. by the way your show's tonight and it's not sold out so who's the fool here you're the one using the new you want news audience members to come see you that's going to be your audience tonight, their audience. So show some respect. Because you wouldn't treat, are you going to call them out, who's here from the news? Oh, you're such a loser and a dummy. <laughs> no, you're going to gladly accept their money and then pretend as if you filled the room. They're filling your room. You're there last minute begging for seats. You ever seen me do that? You ever seen me? Depending on the news. Yeah, well. When the news covers me, it's a success story. It's a story of heroism. I've been on the news several times. It's always been a positive, big, uplifting moment about what I've done to the school. <laughs> really? Look it up. Red bar, search Google News. Do not read. Uh, do not read. Uh, Skim it. Skim unprofessional it. news about me. It's got to be the mainstream news, of course. <laughs> Skip it if it's on Reddit. <laughs> Skip it. And by the way, you know, we're in this big battle with our snark right now, taking them to court, you know, trying to get the CEOs of Reddit themselves to speak on this, because basically what I'm seeing is that the CEOs of Reddit might be snarkers, Red Bar <laughs> snarkers themselves, because they're uh, allowing this harassment of not only my family, but a uh, sweet AB over there in Lena, who have done nothing but been a dire sweet people. And they're harassing them, uh, these guys who work on our show. They don't want to be seen on camera right now because of the harassment. So leave all these people alone. Leave my staff alone. And stop making fun of... Shredder. 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 I did not kill Shredder. Okay, let's just let this play. This is going to make you mad. This is going to make you start wanting to watch the news instead of Red Bar. So, so let's talk, though, about... You're you're gonna do a Netflix special. He did. He didn't have sex with me. I want to make that clear. Okay, I don't think we were gonna ask. Oh, okay. Just so you know, I'm not. But gay. now it's out there. But yeah. just, mm-hmm. just now it's out there. <laughs> but that's not gay. He probably wanted the power. You know. <laughs> Is this gonna be part of your Netflix special? I'm not. Are you Netflix. just trying? I mean, to you're getting. Amazon. What do they call oh, really? this? You're getting smoked, sunned. <laughs> You're looking like a total. Fool. I mean, this guy's out confidencing you by yeah. a mile. Look at and his relaxed And she's looking at you position. like, oh, sweetie, you're not there yet. <laughs> and this is a dumbass hoe. <laughs> and this is like, you know, the most miserable man. Where is this Salt Lake? Well, Salt Lake City, they have actually got some powerful news people there. Trust me on this. <laughs> is this going to be part of your Netflix special? I'm not on Are you Netflix. just trying I'm, this next out? Next one's on Amazon. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I saw how they treated their workers, and I thought it seemed really good, so I wanted to be a part of it, you know? Uh-huh. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm excited to be on Amazon. Look at so. this. Okay. <laughs> no, I, this is kind of your shtick now. You go on morning shows, and what we you like to ruin the morning shows? Yes. Well, look at this. So she's not, you're not happy with it. So this is like your shtick now. You like to go on morning shows and ruin them, I guess? Because yeah. we're not impressed. Yeah. This is not the guy. I mean, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? Like, imagine you were doing a prank on someone and they're like, oh, Mike, this is the kind of prank you do. I would wouldn't be you, humiliated. You, humiliated. You, he's I, and it inside. would also signal to me, okay, well, let's crank this shit up. <laughs> and then I would go ballistic. This place would be destroyed. I'd be ripping off those fucking tits. I'm tit obsessed. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe tits really are back. Tits might be back. I guess I'll have to get those implants after all. I've been looking all. at that Bobby A all day. <laughs> Give me a serving of those. We're just we're totally kidding. We're mocking how these guys act. Watch this. To be on Amazon, it's great. Okay. <laughs> no, I, this is kind of your shtick now. You go on morning shows, and what we you like to ruin the morning show? Yes. Yeah. So I didn't know. I don't know why people. Doing? I don't know why people keep inviting me back. Well, we're you're banned sure in either. Durham, right? I mean, <laughs> Durham I, I, was pissed. They were really pissed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, so how many do we have left? We're still on the list. Um, 
somewhere in Kentucky. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Listen yeah. to the noise floor of a news station. <laughs> I can't even make it though. Here, I'll do it while you talk. Okay, watch well, this. Hey, everybody, welcome to Red Bar. This is just an average news station. This is just the sound of the the room we're in. I know we're Fox, which is a pretty big city, Salt Lake, but our show is actually worse uh, looking and sounding than Red Bar. This guy, Mike. So we're so sorry, but you know this is the news. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. Bowling Green, I gotta hit Bowling Green. <laughs> well, our producer just gave us a time, a time thirty seconds. Oh no! No, no, no. Yeah. come on! So, no, seriously, yeah. we want more to help with your yeah. shows too. I can finish got... in thirty seconds. You can sunning him again. Yeah. You know? Sunning. <laughs> That only and listen is- to what he said. I could finish in 30 seconds. You're not. Well, maybe you are a sex guy. Should I investigate you? <laughs> Should we go into your sexual uh, misconduct history here? I want answers from Morel. The Toad's Morel. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Come on. So, no, seriously. Yeah. We want more to help with your yeah. shows, too. I can so finish in 30 seconds. Just can, ask my right. girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. That only encourages him if you laugh. Okay, don't laugh. Right. So you hate um, him. <laughs> All right, so your shows are sold Wise out. Wise guys. They're sold out. I'm just here to take a victory lap. I'm just here to be like, the shows are sold out. You cannot get tickets. Well, what are you on uh, here for? They're sold out. All right, and you will only see him at Wise Guys in Salt Lake City because he's not coming back to our show. What? So. Really? No. What the fuck? <laughs> that hurt. Whoa, that was... <laughs> Because why would you come on? If somebody came on and disrespected me, I'd go, get the hell out of here, punk. I mean, this guy's got important business. This isn't to funny to. anymore unless you really go through with it. You can't just half ass it like Sam Morrell's doing. Maybe we should get me on a morning show. I could show you how it's done. <laughs> huh? You want to get me on a morning show? Just lie to the news. Tell them I got some big thing coming up for charity. I go in there. I tell them about Threda. I tell I them about what's underneath. I think you should become a local news guy. And How about that? Would you make got... fun of it. Oh, my just God. What if I became Tucson's main advice. news guy like Mark Greco? I could be the sports guy here in Tucson. No, I think you should be the culture. I look better than every person reporter. on the news. Most local news channels, I look better and cooler than any news guy you've seen. Especially I should here. be a news guy. I agree. This poor Osos is making me Don't crazy. I've been drinking this all day. No, it's got Windex. Are you crazy? <laughs> Do <the> taste <laughs> Literally tastes like toilet. When you mix poor Osos with street water, which is very good here, uh, it tastes toilety now. <laughs> this poor Osos is the devil. All right, let's see how they wrap this up. He goes, you're never going to be back here. You see this? I'm just here to take a victory lap. I'm just here to be what like, the are sold out. You cannot get tickets because uh, they're sold out. All right, and you will only see him at Wise Guys in Salt Lake City because he's not coming back to our show. What? So, really? No. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I don't think you're hurt. Yeah. Uh, Sam, you can come back. I hope so. Just yeah. not on the you air. hope so? Just not Ooh, on the air. I love, he hates I love coming, so yeah. I hope yeah. I get to come back. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to John. <laughs> you want the news guys to be not understanding. You know, you want to play a prank on them. This isn't a prank. This is them going, this is what you're going to do? You're going to come on here and do this? Okay. I know it's like what's the point of that it then it's really you is. seriously that made me so mad sam Ooh, am i out to get you sam <laughs>